welcome to your weekly uplift reading. I've got some bits of information to share with you, but the first thing I want to share is from my Angel Answer cards. It's the ones that look like this. If any of you have got this deck, you'll know that within the deck there are two cards that give the answer yes. Guess what these two are? <laughs> So the first one is yes <laughs> and the second one is, can you see that? Yes. So I just got the sense that there's a real affirmative message coming through for this week. This, you know, yes, yes. And as I was tuning in in my preparation, they said to me, if there was a third, you would have picked a third. It's almost like, yes, yes, yes. Now, some of you come to the reading and that's all you need. You just need to know that, oh, yeah, okay, okay. I've got to, I've got to pull this one in. Right, um, we've had this a bit, haven't we, recently? It's the lover's card. Let me share that with you a bit closer. Beautiful pictures on these. I love these. These are the Hanson Roberts deck. Um, so the lover's card, do you remember we've been talking about choices, but it's more a time of internal choices and decisions in this period that has just been probably nothing like we've ever experienced before um, for many of us we are being asked to go within and choose and decide and sort things out and choose again and decide again, you know. And it feels like they're, they're asking us to choose more and more in line with our heart and soul. And this is the lover's card. So... These yeses, and I, I and they keep, they've just dropped another one down. They've given me three cards. These three yeses are about saying to you, those moments you've had during the past few weeks, few days, where you thought, can I really do that? I don't want to go back to how I was before all of this occurred. Can I really take this path? Can I really, you know, let go of my job? Can I really move to that country? Can I really live in this other way, this different way, this more authentic way that I found? Um, they are saying, yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm getting. <gasps> They've just put the word in front of me. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, you can live a more um, in line life from your heart, from your soul. Um, yes, some of the things you've adopted over, you know, past weeks you can integrate it, you can create. Do you remember last week they were saying, now is the time to create your life, your heaven on earth, your ideal life. And they're saying, yes, 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 yes. So some of the things you've been asking, can I really, or how can I, or what can I do here? Um, yeah, they're just giving me loads of yeses. You can do it. You can do it. You can change this. Now is the time to recreate. Now is the time to build uh, afresh, build anew, build from the ground up. This is your opportunity. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. I love that. And I must just share with you, if you haven't seen... You see these pictures of the light pouring in. Look at that in the shape of a heart. And oh, I just love them, you know, because this time has given us the space and the opportunity. And there have been silver linings and opportunities and incredible things coming out of this huge time, this massive time, and, ah, this is where this comes in. What's happening is many of us, and I include this, you know, me in this, 
we're starting to see things differently. We're starting to touch the light. We're starting to see the light, to feel the light. Well, they've just dropped in. We're starting to be the light. We're starting to raise our energy, our frequency, our vibration. Do you remember, was it last week they said, don't go back? Don't, they're saying it again, don't go back, don't go back. Um, <clears throat> You're starting to see things and experience things differently. Um, <clears throat> it's not just seeing, but yes, but feeling, experiencing. Oh, gosh, <gasps> they're making me go. Oh, oh. <laughs> right. There were two tarot cards. We've had one, the lover's card, and I feel it's about choices and decisions. However, this is also about a union. This is the union with you, your heart and soul, um, your higher self, your authentic self, but it's the union with the one. <coughs> it is. How do I know? They start to build the energy, don't they? Hold on a minute. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. This is, um, un oh my gosh, this is why they keep giving this to us as well, the lover's card. It's a union card, it's a oneness card, it's a coming together card. It's, um, it's there is no separation. It's moving away from separation, duality and all of that stuff. And it's moving closer and closer and closer to oneness, to um, <clears throat> and really building the energy. Um, this is what this is about. So making your choices and decisions from a place of your authentic self, from love, not fear, because the decision making process is so much different. Oh gosh, isn't it different? If you're coming from desperation and fear versus love and unity and oneness and I'm in love with life, that's what it's all about. So um yeah, they're asking you to make those decisions from this incredible place. Now, the other tarot card, this is unusual for me. I've said it before, I rarely read the reversals. Um, can you see that? That's actually the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And let me first of all do it this way. So the Five of Pentacles is a card that comes along when we feel we're on our own, we're alone, we feel disconnected, um, we're in fear as well, we're in desperation and fear and panic and worry there's not enough to go around and um, everyone else has got it and I haven't and I'm separate from them, I'm different, you know? So it's all that duality stuff, that third dimensional stuff, the opposite ends of the scale stuff. It's the, the fear, the worry, the jealousy, the guilt, the everyone's all right and I'm not type energy. Now, you turn it upside down, it's, I mean, very generally speaking in tarot it's the opposite so this is a message i feel like it's a really strong message where they are sharing with you this week us you are starting to see yourself as a whole you're not seeing yourself as disconnected and i'm alone and you're all right and it's okay for you you're starting to um, feel that compassion and that empathy but on a just a completely different level different scale we are one we are one in all of this oh they give me shivers you're they're saying again you're starting to see the light you're starting to feel the light you're starting to be the light and they gave me this i love this 72 now you know, for some of you, that will mean something already, instantly, got 72, brilliant. A couple of things to point out about this is that it is a spiritual awakening card. It is enlightenment. It is 
<laughs> yeah. Aren't they funny? <laughs> Seeing the light, you know, oh my gosh, you know, one of those moments, the light bulb comes on, you're like, oh, this is what it's all about. This is, many of you are having these moments more and more and more and staying in this energy for longer, longer, longer. Um, spiritual awakening. Now, there's loads of other things, but that is really big for this week spiritual awakening enlightenment and seeing the light seeing things in a different way and they're asking us to look at it like that you know in the mornings as you get up you know universe god spirit uh, show me show me the light today you know, today in many different ways, see how you can show me and guide me towards the light. And it feels like there's lots of lots of like little miracle moments, you know, um, where you something happens or you see something or you hear something or feel something, experience something. And it's like, oh, Oh my God, I feel so glad to be alive at this point in time to witness this, to be part of this rebirth, this re-emergence. The other thing I want to say about this is the seven and two equals nine. And the nine is like really, oh, they've just given me the tail end of something. Oh, I'm getting so many messages. The tail end of kind of, what we're going through now that's not to say there are there's still big stuff to go through but the tail end of a, a section of this and they're saying that's the same with my throat thank you got that brilliant um the tail end of it before then it goes to a number 10 which goes into a number one new beginning new starts <gasps> So we've got the, the 72, but we've also got a message of nine, you know, something ending, something wrapping up, the, the start, the beginning of the end, the beginning of the end of this particular thing. But remember the three yeses, I'm going to uh, end on this. I just, I had so many messages coming through. Yes, 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 you are beginning to see the light. We are beginning to see the light. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next week.